Hello students, in this video we'll begin our discussion of orthogonal polynomials. We say that given a function w of x defined on a, b with w of x, I'll say strictly greater than zero, technically we can relax this condition a little bit and allow it to be equal to zero to a finite number of points, but we'll just consider that it's strictly positive over here. Then we'll construct construct a measure, and the measure we're going to construct is just w of x dx, like that. Okay. We say that a sequence of polynomials let's write them like this. Phi 0, phi 1, phi 2, and so on, with degree of phi i being equal to i, is orthogonal with respect to w of x dx if the integral from a to b of phi i of x, phi j of x, w of x, dx. So there's our measure and there's our interval over there. So here's our measure right here. Here are the pairs of functions, phi i, phi j, is equal to zero if i is not equal to j. And furthermore, we'll call it normal or the normal if when we do this, the integral from a to b of phi i squared of x, when I replace i with j, with respect to that weight, we get one. That's the normalization condition. We choose it to be normal. Typically, we'll leave the normalization out just to make things a little bit easier to compute. Okay? Great. So these are what orthogonal polynomials are, right, with respect to a certain measure. And so let me see, show a construction of this. So now what I can do is here's, an, here's a proposition. Proposition xk, this is the function, just the monomial x to the k, can be written as a combination lambda 0 plus lambda 1. I put a phi 0 over here, phi 0, phi lambda uh, phi 1 plus lambda k phi k. And what I can do is I can write x to the k as a linear combination of the first k of these orthogonal polynomials with respect to any weight over here. And of course, we can find out what these coefficients are. So using this, what we'll do is the following. We'll take this um, proposition over here. We'll find out what these lambda 0, lambda i's are, right? And so what we can do is we can note now that, let's do a side calculation, then... Let's figure out what the lambda k's are, what the lambda i's are going to be. Lambda i is equal to what? Well, what we'll do is we'll take x to the k. We'll figure out what the formula is, but I'm just prove it. So here's the proof of what we'll try to figure that out. I'm going to do x to the k and then phi i of x, w of x, dx. If I integrate that from a to b, that's the same as integrating this whole expression over here, the integral from a to b of x to the k. So that's the right hand, that's the left hand side. And then I'm gonna have this whole right hand side, lambda zero, phi zero, all the way down to lambda k, phi k. And then I'm gonna hit that with a phi i of x, w of x, dx, right? And now notice, of course, that whenever I take any phi i, if phi, the integral of phi i w of x with anything that's not equal to phi i is going to give me zero. So this whole thing is going to simplify to do what? It's going to simplify to the integral from a to b of lambda i, lambda i, and then what? Lambda i and then phi i squared of x w of x dx. And now I can exactly solve for this. So that tells me what my lambda i is going to be. So I, therefore lambda i is going to be what? Lambda i is going to be, this is going to be on the right hand side, the integral from a to b of x to the k phi i x w of x dx over this normalization. And now you can see a to b of phi i. And of course, if we assume this in orthonormal set, then this denominator is just going to be equal to 1, which makes things a lot easier, w of x dx. And so now this formula over here, that's exactly what we're going to plug in over here. So this is our, this is our formula for those coefficients lambda i. So in other words, just the integral from a to b of xk phi i x w of x dx over the integral from a to b of phi i squared of x w of x 
dx, right? And so sometimes you'll hear these called the st still cheese measures. Now, the last thing I want to note is that there are special classes of orthogonal polynomials which you're going to see in further videos and that we've already in, we already encountered, like the Laguerre polynomials, the Hermite polynomials, the Legendre polynomials, the Chebyshev polynomials, and confluent hypergeometric polynomials as well. So there's a wide class of orthogonal polynomials with respect to different weights over here, right? So for example, if your weight is just equal to one between negative one and one, you get the Legendre polynomials, right? If your weight is going to be if your weight is proportional to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, you get the Chebyshev polynomials, right? If, and then, of course, you can let these things go to infinity. If you go from 0 to infinity with respect to, like, a Gaussian measure, you get the Hermite polynomials. And there's lots of other classes of special functions which occur in differential equations, which is why we want to develop a broad theory for studying these orthogonal polynomials. And so one final class of these things, if we consider the weight w of x, which is equal to 1 minus x to the alpha, 1 plus x to the power beta, where alpha and beta are both bigger than numbers bigger than negative 1, so it's not singular. That's your weight function over here. And we're on the interval, on the interval negative 1 to 1. Then these functions over here, the orthogonal polynomials, are called R b functions p n alpha beta of x right and so these ones are special um, orthogonal polynomials and these ones are called um just um ash uh, more generally it's a, it's a general class the p n alpha beta and um And so we'll figure out, I, I, the name is just eluding me at the second, but we'll figure it out in a while. So anyway, so we, we're going to look at these weights in particular, um, and we look at these particular weights. So for example, when we look at alpha equals 0, beta equals 0, then we get the Legendre polynomials. We look at alpha equals 1 half, beta equals 1 half, with a negative sign, negative 1 half, negative 1 half, we get the Chebyshev polynomials, and we get a wide variety of these uh, of different classes of these things, and we're studying this particular class, PN alpha beta, in further videos. Thank you very much.